Nicholas David Coleridge CBE is Chairman of the Victoria and Albert Museum, Chairman of the Prince of Wales Campaign for Wool, Chairman of the Gilbert Trust for the Arts and Co-Chair of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee Pageant. He is an ambassador for the Landmark Trust and a patron of the Elephant Family. From 1989 to 2019, he was successively Editorial Director of Condé Nast Britain, Managing Director, Condé Nast Britain, Vice President, Condé Nast International and President. Condé Nast International, the division of Condé Nast which publishes 139 magazines in 27 international markets, and over 100 websites, with annual revenues of approx $1 billion. Condé Nast publishes numerous titles including Vogue, Vanity Fair, House and Garden, Tatler, The World of Interiors, Condé Nast Traveler, The New Yorker, Architectural Digest. Glamour, GQ, Brides, Wired, Love and GQ Style as well as owning the Johansson's Hotel Guides and the Condé Nast College of Fashion and Design. From 2017 to 2019, he was chairman of Condé Nast Britain. He has been chairman of the Victoria and Albert Museum since 2015, having been a trustee from 2012 to 2015. He has been chairman of the Campaign for Wool since 2013. He was appointed co-chair of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee Pageant in February 2021. Coleridge was born in London, the son of David Coleridge, who was chairman of Lloyd's of London in the late 1980s, and descended from a brother of poet Samuel Taylor Coleridge. He is the eldest of three brothers and educated at Ashdown House, Eton College, and Trinity College, Cambridge, where he studied theology and history of art. However, due to a back injury sustained in Iran, he was not able to sit his finals. As an Eton schoolboy, he won the Jeremy Thorpe Cup for debating with his school friend Craig Brown, though the trophy was later renamed when Thorpe's reputation fell under a shadow. He has written 14 books, both fiction and non-fiction, based largely upon either his professional life, The Fashion Conspiracy, Paper Tigers, With Friends Like These, or Episodic Novels. The Fashion Conspiracy was the number one bestseller, hardback non-fiction. His autobiography, titled The Glossy Years, Magazines, Museums and Selective Memoirs published September 2019 by Penguin Fig Tree, was hashtag number one in art books, hashtag number one in fashion books, hashtag number one in showbiz biography. It was described by the Sunday Times as the most entertaining book of the year. He has been chairman of the PPA the Professional Publishers Association, and two term chairman of the British Fashion Council for four years, overseeing London Fashion Week. He was founding chairman of Fashion Rocks, the fashion and rock music extravaganza showcasing the world's 18 top fashion designers, including Dior. Chanel, Prada and Ralph Lauren paired with 18 top rock stars including Beyonce, Robbie Williams, Brian Ferry, and David Bowie. It raised more than £3 million for the Prince's Trust charity. He was on the advisory board for the concert for Diana, Wembley Stadium 2007. He has been a member of the Council of the Royal College of Art, and a member of the Trading Board of the Prince's Trust. He was a director of Press Boff, the parent organization of the Press Complaints Commission, 2007 to 2014. While on assignment making a television documentary about Tamil terrorism in Sri Lanka in 1984, he was arrested and jailed for 10 days in Wellicotta Prison, Colombo, where he embarked upon writing a collection of short stories, How I Met My Wife. As a journalist, he has been an irregular contributor to the Daily Telegraph, Sunday Telegraph, The Spectator and The Financial Times. In 1976, between school and university, he was a cub reporter on the Falmouth Packet newspaper in Cornwall. From 1979 to 1982 he was associate editor of the Tatler, working for then-editor Tina Brown. From 1982 to 1985 he was a columnist at the Evening Standard. 1986 to 1989 he was editor-in-chief of Harper's and Queen magazine. A Hearst title, before joining Condé Nast. In 2002, as chairman of the British Fashion Council, he suggested that the then Sunday Times fashion editor, Colin McDowell, was habitually too negative about British fashion designers. This drew criticism from McDowell, who accused Coleridge of jingoism. He was described by Campaign magazine in 2012 as magazine's most compelling advocate for almost two decades. He is married to the healer and author Georgia Metcalf and has four children, Alexander, Freddie, Sophie, and Tommy. They live in Chelsea, London, and in Worcestershire. The December 2007 issue of Condé Nast's World of Interiors magazine contains a feature on his country house, the 1709 Wolverton Hall in Worcestershire. In 2019, 
he commissioned a garden folly, a 46-foot writing tower, in a Tudor Georgian Jacobean style, by the architect Quinlan Terry. The folly won a first prize at the 2021 Georgian Group Architectural Awards, and the Craftsmanship Prize at the 2021 British Brick Awards. He has seven godchildren, and his novel Godchildren was dedicated to them. Two of the godchildren, Cara Delavine and Edie Campbell, are now well-known British models. Another of his godchildren, journalist Ned Donovan, married Princess Raya bin al-Hussein of Jordan. He was one of the first people in Britain to contract COVID-19 and spent two weeks in Worcester Hospital on oxygen. He was the 1982 British Press Awards Young Journalist of the Year, as a columnist at the Evening Standard, and was given the Mark Boxer Lifetime Achievement Award for Magazine Journalism by the British Society of Magazine Editors in 2001. In 2013, he was awarded the Marcus Morris Lifetime Achievement Award for Publishing by the Professional Publishers Association. In June 2017, he was inducted into the Professional Publishers Association's Hall of Fame by Lord Heseltine. In May 2018 he was awarded the Lifetime Outstanding Contribution to British Media Prize at the British Media Awards. He is the only person ever to be awarded all four of the publishing industry's Lifetime Achievement Awards. Coleridge was appointed a Commander of the Order of the British Empire in the 2009 Birthday Honours. A portrait of Coleridge by photographer William Tickle is in the collection of the National Portrait Gallery, London. Thanks for watching.